WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I've been mugged by a Palo Verde tree. It'll happen for another month or so, and then I'll be out of prison. These allergies are these beautiful trees that are out in front of the house. <laughs> they're, they're tough. But anyway, I'll take some medicine for it, and it takes a while to get over. We're going to take a look here. This is the Dow Jones E-mini that we talked about yesterday and this big ABCD that was forming. Remember, folks, uh, this is not making a new high. Uh, the Dow Jones is, you know, about oh, 150 points for making a new high. We made new highs in the NASDAQ last Friday, if you remember. That has not been taken out as of yet. Re let's re let's restate uh, that. The NASDAQ did not make a new high. It made a 61% retracement. The Russell made a 61% retracement. The S&P made a new high at 5195 in the March contract. It's a little below that right now. Now, you'll notice the ABCD on this pattern measured to 397. Well, this one didn't work because it only got to 396.98. And uh, if you'd had an order setting in there at 396.98, you wouldn't have been filled. And if you'd have shaded it by a little bit, you probably wouldn't have been filled anyway. But anyway, it dropped. Uh, you can see it's dropped 350 points from that level. Whether that's going to mean much or not, you know, it's still a little bit early uh, to really uh, to really tell. But today, uh, we're, what we're going to do is, oh, by the way, tomorrow's guest will be Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts. He's got some really good stuff on the uh, New York, the Knife Index. It used to be the, uh, the not, well, the New York Stock Exchange Index, and it's still available, but it's not traded. It's basically used for uh, figuring out what the value is of these, uh, not hedge funds, but ETFs that go into the market. And that's what they use as a gauge of where things really are. Okay, the main thing that we want to cover here this morning, and we got a break coming up here in just a second, but I'm going to go through uh, several requests about looking at these uh, MAGA stocks. And we're going to look at each one of them separately. But first, what we'll do is we, revert, we will review the things that we were looking at for today and see how they turned out. Some worked, some didn't. So let's take a break and we'll be right back <clears throat>